What's up guys? Steven here with Steven's Best Loot coming at you with another live unboxing. Um, getting on kind of late tonight. Was was out buying deals all day and was super busy. So if you guys tune in tonight, um, hopefully you will enjoy some of the uh, pickups from today. Um, managed, to, uh, managed to strike a little bit of... Uh, Silver, surprisingly, it's been a rough, uh, rough few months um, to get silver, but was able to get a good haul of it in today. Um, so, hang out for a little bit, and we're gonna go through what's up for grabs. Um, as you guys know, I'll be going live for sales this weekend. Um, so, if you see anything you want before then, feel free to hit me in the DMs, or if you're watching this video back later. Uh, feel free to hit me up, see if any of the pieces are still available. So, um, I'm going to start with the local pickups, guys, because uh, that's that's really where the big ones are. I have a few, few things in the mail call today. I know one community package and I think a couple other orders. Might even be some more silver in there. Uh, definitely some platinum, I think. Um, but man, oh man, did the local pickups go ham on me. Um, so to start with, got two Johnson Matthew SLQ, or sorry, SLC stamp kilos, two Johnson Matthew SLC kilos, that one's got a little bit of a, of a, a double reverse on it, it's got some of the stamping print from being hit on the slab so many times. Um, but a couple nice keys. Uh, I had some of these in the past and they've always gone really well. I mean, anything Johnson Matthew and just getting bars right now has been a humongous pain. So I was super stoked uh, to grab a couple of those. Um, then I was also fortunate enough to find uh, a bunch of 10 ounces and, or sorry, a bunch of five ounces and one 10 ouncer. Um, but the one 10 ouncer I got is a good one. Uh, check this out, guys. I'll open this up real quick. Um, this is the 10 ouncer I was able to snag today out buying deals. Um, this is one of the uh, vintage Amark stackers. I uh, used to see them a lot more, but any 10 ouncer is hard right now, and these are fairly sought after, nice collector piece, um, so this will definitely get snagged quick, probably before before my live sales this weekend, um, but if not, then it'll definitely get snagged there. So we got two Johnson Matthew kilos and a 10 ouncer so far, and then uh, check out this pile of 5 ouncers, guys. That is 60 ounces, I think, in five ounces. Um, I was shocked that I was going to be able to snag all of these five ounces. Um, it's been really hard to find five and ten ounce bars lately, uh, unless you're wanting to pay some crazy prices. And even then, a lot of the a lot of the sites are sold out. So um, to start with, a couple of the five ounces are the Republic Metals Corporation poured bars. Um, these are always cool. I personally have, I know I have a 10 and a kilo. I'm not sure if I have a 5 in my personal collection or not, but a couple of these. Uh, no, Raiders, no sales right now, brother. Uh, you can hit me in the DMs if you see anything you want, um, but we're just going through the day's pickups right now. Um, so two of those. Uh, then check this one out. This is Oklahoma federated gold and numismatics it's got the little peace dollar um obverse and reverse on it nice little vintage five ouncer looks like it was made by that kind of looks like an augmented i'd say like golden state mint maybe possibly you know all those other mints always make the stuff for them uh, i think there's a couple of these morgan bars these are hamilton mint uh, the HM with the Morgan head on them. There's more than one of those. Yeah, there's another one. 
Uh, some sunshines. Looks like three sunshine five ounces. Got this guy. I believe this is Silvertown. Yeah, Silvertown five ouncer. Hey, Golden State Mint five ouncer. And a couple Provident Metals five ounces. I think these were made by SMI, is who does the Provident stuff. Sunshine does them. Um, they used to sell these things for spot if you were a new customer. Can't get that deal anymore. <laughs> um, so that was a little haul of bars I got. That's what uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, 120, 130, 130 ounces in bars. Uh, but there's still quite a bit more. We're and this is just the local pickups, guys. Um, got 60 Aztec rounds, three BU tubes of the Golden State Mint Aztec rounds. Been really hard for people to find uh, generic silver and lower price silver. Uh, this is a little bit on the fancier end of a generic, but still uh, a generic piece um, that'll be a much much better price than a lot of the the premium coins which is all that's available right now on a lot of the websites so got three full tubes of those three full tubes of those so another 60 ounces We also got some Eagles, guys, and, um, you know, I haven't been buying a ton of Eagles lately just because the premiums uh, have been high unless I can get a good, uh, you know, private party deal or something. Um, but these were some years that uh, I couldn't really say no to at the price. Um, so we got a whole BU tube of 93. Uh, and as you guys know, most of the uh, 90s Eagles are... A little bit lower mintage. So a whole tube of 93s. A whole tube of 91s. Look at that, 1991. And four, count them, one, two, three, four uh, tubes of one of the most sought after years right now, the year I get the most DMs of people asking for this year, 2021 Type 1. So four tubes of 2021 Type 1, and then a couple of 90s tubes. So another 24, 60, 81, another 120 ounces in ASEs. Uh, so where does that put us on the count so far? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 180, 190, 200, and 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, 250 plus 64. So 314 ounces of silver uh, on local pickups today. Not too shabby for the, the silver, right? Um, then for gold, um, got another one of the Ohio Precious Metals, the OPM one ounce bars, and picked up a couple more Perth. I can't keep these guys in. Um, the Perth and the Pamps usually go as soon as I get them, so I, I pick them up whenever I can. Um, so we got four ounces of gold there. And then a few sovereigns. Um, sovereigns are, you know, a cheaper, cheaper old gold coin. So been uh, snagging these whenever I can. Because um, it's a nice, cheap one to sell. 
uh, get people a little under a quarter ounce of gold at a good price. All right, guys, so that was it for the local pickups today. So, I mean, what were we at? 310 ounces of silver and four and three quarters, roughly, ounces of gold. Um, so not too bad of a day on the local pickups, and I do have some packages on top of that. Um, so let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, this first package, not sure who this is coming from. Feels like, I know I got some, uh, I, I ordered some rounds from Poor Artist. Kind of feels like it could be that, um, but we'll see. Might be something else, let's see. Nope, that's what it looks like it is. So these are from uh, Patriot Pours. There you go, that's a cool sticker. Nice work on the design, man. That's a cool sticker. Uh, and these are just some little rounds that he was doing, some poured rounds. Got the uh, Don't Tread on Me snake on one side and uh, his little Patriot Pour symbol, one ounce on the other. So I'm, I'm buying up stuff like this from a lot of the poor artists in the community right now because I have a treasure chest uh, that was given to me from MK Bars, and I want to fill it with like to the brim with stuff like this. It'll probably take a good two or 300 ounces. Um, I was originally going to just have Haley Bug fill it all with his Pirate Treasure one, but then I was like, Oh, it might be good to just have like a bunch of different stuff like that in there. That will be cool. And then you kind of play with it and run my hands through and use it as a backdrop and photos and stuff like that. So I got 60 of Haley bugs coming in. But like I said, this thing's probably going to take at least 200 ounces to fill. So I'm going to be grabbing, grabbing those kind of things when I see them uh, for the personal keep there. Uh, next one, this is a... This is a bullion order from a supplier I don't use too often, so I think I know what it is. I believe you guys are going to be excited for this. This is the uh, new 2021 Dragon Bars. It's what I think is in here, unless I'm wrong. Um, I actually have these on order from a few different suppliers because they were on pre-order for a while. So I was kind of grabbing tubes of them whenever I could because... I, I just always sell out of these dang Dragon Bars every time I get them. Um, so with the new one coming out, I wanted to make sure I could get at least like four or five tubes of them. Um, so I've been kind of buying them up when I can, but I believe believe that's what we're going to find inside this envelope that was inside that box. Let's take a look. I might have ordered something else a while back and forgot about it, but the Dragon Bars are the ones I'm patiently anticipating. Uh, I think I'm supposed to have some of them hit from another supplier later this week as well. So, oh yeah. I can tell these are bar tubes. And that's really the only thing I'd be getting, bar tubes right now. So we had a couple tubes and some loose. Uh, I'm assuming, I don't remember how many come in a tube on those. I think it's 20, might be 25. Yeah, it must be 20, because uh, I ordered 50 in this purchase. Probably because I couldn't remember how many were in a tube then either uh, on these, and, and there's some extras off to the side. So we won't have to crack either of the tubes uh, to see, but there's 40 ounces of that. That puts us up to 350 ounces in silver today. Um, and then there's another 10 here, if I can get through this highly taped bubble wrap. Uh, we could actually look at one of the bars. I think they're in flips, hopefully. They're not loose in a bag or something, that would be terrible. Because uh, this is a high premium bar. This is not a cheap generic, and this is technically a coin. Um, one of the few coin bars in the world because it does have a face value and a legal tendon, uh, a legal tender on it. All right, 
There we go. God, that was a pain to get out. They just have bubble wrap that they just mass taped all around. So let's check out the new 2020, guys. Ooh. Wow. I gotta say, that's one of the sicker designs, in my opinion. Uh, if you don't know, they've been doing the Dragon Coin Bar here since 2018. So there's a 2018, 2019, 2020, and then now the 2021. This is the fourth in the installment. Uh, I have some of each in my personal collection. And uh, I actually just got in a collection the other day that had some 2020 and 2019s in it. So I was selling those. But in my opinion, the designs have gotten better every year, surprisingly. I think the 2018 was the weakest design. Uh, the 2019 looks a little better. The 2020 was fire. And uh, this guy is just building on that. You got uh, almost full coverage of the bar with the dragon design versus the 2018 and the 2019. The dragon's kind of a very small image of the bar. Uh, almost covering the full thing. He's looking at you. He's growling. Really cool piece. And then the reverse. Uh, you see the Australian with the $1. That's what technically makes this a coin, uh, even though it's a bar. Uh, this is good for a dollar in Australia. You can go to McDonald's, pick up a couple of, uh, you know, pick up a 10-pack of chicken nuggets, hand them five of these, and you'll be covered. <laughs> Somebody knows what they're doing, you only need to hand them one, and they'll be more than happy to uh, to pay your, your, your tab there, but really cool. I'm stoked to have these. Here's the first 50. I have, I believe, over 100 of these coming in. Um, so you will, they, they definitely shouldn't all go before my live. Uh, I think I have another like two tubes that'll be at the PO later this week. Um, they're, you know, I ordered them from multiple suppliers and they're all kind of hitting at the same time. It looks like, uh, but this was the first batch of them. So we got 50 ounces of the 2021 dragon bars. Right there, so we were at 314 plus 50s, 364. Forgot to count these guys, five ounces there from Patriot Pours. Um, so 369, 369. I think that might be all the silver coming up next. Is a little, I uh, believe, some gold and platinum in this, uh, in this next pack. Um, this next pack is from one of my wholesale dealers, came in via UPS Express. Um, I've been doing I've been doing so many orders lately they kind of lose track uh, in my brain, but I believe uh, this order is primarily platinum uh, because I, I I had a feeling platinum was going to start spiking, so I've been ordering it pretty heavy uh, the last couple weeks, which is why I've had a lot up for sale, um, and I was right. I mean, you know, it's it's back over twelve and and going strong at like twelve twenty twelve thirty now. So these all turned into pretty good buys in that respect. Um, but let's see here. Oh boy. Sorry, these guys always pack their stuff to the brim so it's very difficult to get into. I'll have to rip the whole thing apart. Because they do like me and they do a box inside of a box and tape that box and everything else. So trust me, I feel your struggle when you guys are trying to open up my packages. But uh, it's better have it safe and show up. Inside of the UPS box was this box. Inside of that box was this. <laughs> so. All right, guys, we got a lot of good stuff in this order. Not a ton. This wasn't a big order, but it had some. It had some nice pieces uh, that I think will be 
uh, hot this week on the live and uh, for sales in the DM and everything else. In fact, one of the things, so I'll probably be one of the first one I show, um, I know ain't going to last super long. And that is what just fell out there. Uh, these guys I don't think will last very long. Uh, this is quarter ounce platinum eagles. Quarter ounce platinum eagles. We got 2005. 2005. 2006. 2004, 2006, and 2004. So an ounce and a quarter, uh, an ounce and a quarter in Platinum Eagles. You don't hear many people saying that right now. Uh, then also got in some more Roosters. I've been just blowing through these guys lately. Uh, a lot of people been hot on the 20 Franks. Um, so we got in a nice little assortment of roosters again, keep having to reorder cause I keep, I keep ordering some and then they all sell really quick. Uh, my unboxing happens like they didn't make it to live last week and I think I had like 10. Um, but what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So that's, uh, that's about what? 1.1, 1.2 ounces, right? Cause those are around 0.2. They're like 1.187, something like that. And then a little more platinum. Yeah, I was right. No silver in this uh, shipment. I just checked the uh, packing slip there. It says all platinum and gold. Not even really that much gold. Mostly platinum on this order. Because um, this was right before platinum started to pop back up again. Let's see if they have the platy price listed on here. Ah, they don't. Just gold and silver. Uh, but we got a 20 gram Valcambi Platinum with the, uh, what I call the fingerprint design. Twenty grammer. And then we got some 10 grammers. One, two, three, four, five five ten grammers i ordered some of these in last week i've been selling mostly the grams on platinum but i ordered the 10 grammers in and they actually went really really quick um so i decided to uh snag some more so 10 20 30 40 50 70 grams so that's a little over two ounces there and we already had an ounce and a quarter um so what's that about three and 10 grams is about a third. So yeah, about three and a half ounces of platinum. Dang, three and a half ounces of platinum. Uh, we were already at uh, four, four and three quarters, five, six, six ounces of gold. So an ounce and a quarter of platinum, six ounces of gold, and three, I forget, 380 ounces, something like that is where we were at for silver. So, um, that is what today's haul is looking like, guys. I'm pretty happy with it, especially on the silver end. I've been spending most of my money on gold and platinum lately just because I literally have not been able to find silver. Um, just no one's selling it, and the people that are selling it want you know too much money, and I can't pay $32, $33 for an ounce and then still get it to you guys at a good price. Um, so I uh, was happy that I was able to, to score s some silver today at some reasonable prices uh, locally. Uh, and then those Dragon Bars coming in, that's pretty hot. I don't think we added the Dragon Bars into the total, did we? So we're probably over 400 ounces of silver then. then. Um, 400 ounces of silver, 6 or so ounces of gold, and like 3.5 ounces of platinum. Not a bad day of pickups. Um, 
Won't be on tomorrow night. Guys, still haven't uh, gotten the house caught up enough yet to get back to the Thursday through Saturday schedule. So still just going to go Friday, Saturday. So if you guys need anything before then, you know what to do. Hit me in the DMs. Um, otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for hopping in and checking out today's pickups. And I will chat with you all later. Have a good night.